So is this the secret ingredient that distillers use to give bourbon the caramel and vanilla notes? No, it doesn't work like that at all. I'm a bourbon beginner, just starting out, learning about bourbon and trying to develop my palate. So come along with me on this journey. I was really confused about how bourbon got its notes. I mean, the you would hear about Oh, it has notes of caramel and vanilla and chocolate and baking spices and floral hints and all these different things that people would say that they, they could taste in the bourbon. And where was it getting the notes? Where was it getting these flavors? So it's basically the chemicals from the breakdown of the sugars in the bourbon when it's being aged and the interaction with the wood, the uh, charred wood in the oak barrel. So that's really how it gets its flavors. You know, it is it is kind of miraculous because there's no added flavors. Actually, you, there are no added flavors or colorings allowed in bourbon. Uh, you'll see some bourbons that get uh, finished in another cast. Maybe they'll finish it in a port wine cast or something like that. It'll be double finished or something some of these other uh, whiskeys, but I don't think they can actually call it bourbon at that point. Then it's, then it's American whiskey. So as you know, I'm working to develop my palate so I can taste these wonderful flavors in the bourbon, the caramels and the, the uh, vanillas and baking spices and all the floral notes and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm doing is I'll pick one bourbon and I taste it on camera and I give you guys, this is what I, my impressions of it, this is what I'm tasting. And then I will drink that bourbon over the course of a week. And then I'll come back at the end of the week and taste it again and see if my palate has improved. Am I tasting anything else in that bourbon? Okay, so let's go ahead and start with last week's bourbon. And that's a good old Evan Williams Black and it's a very inexpensive bourbon. Um, it is, uh, 80 proof, I believe. And, uh, oh, wait, let me get my glasses. No, it's 86 proof. Sorry about that. And it's a Kentucky straight bourbon. So it was aged at least two years. And here it is. And I had, uh, poured it about mm, five or 10 minutes ago to let it sit in a Glen Cairn glass, not a Glen Cairn glass. This is just a whiskey glass. I don't have any Glen Cairn glasses, but uh, just kind of a, almost the same shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little swirl and just see if it has what I call legs, which does it stick to the glass? Does it have a good viscosity? And um, maybe a little bit, but not really. I'm giving it a sniff. And kind of an open mouth sniff you don't want and uh, that kind of helps keep the uh, the alcohol from, from from getting to you. And it tastes it smells a little spicy. There's a little spice in the in the in the uh, in the nose. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and take a take a sip and see if it tastes and uh, see if my tape my palate has improved. I am kind of tasting some, maybe some different tastes, but I'm really not sure what they are. It almost tastes like I'm, maybe I'm tasting the corn, but of course I could be just guessing. But I think I'm starting to taste some of the, some of the different flavors in the bourbon. And that's one of the things I need to do is to work on identifying the different flavors and you know, what does what does a bourbon that tastes like vanilla taste like? You know, what is that? How does that taste in a bourbon? What is the, the caramel? How does that taste in a bourbon so that you can identify and, uh, and communicate? This is, this is what you're tasting. But it's not really as overpowering me as it was before just drinking straight bourbon. 
So let me put a little over ice. And that tends to kind of soften it up or kind of bring out some of the other flavors in the bourbon. Just a little bit of spice. And a, maybe it's either like a, a caramel or a butterscotch that I'm tasting. But um, it's tasting different to me. I will say that I'm starting to to be able to get a taste and it's not like the the alcohol is just that's all that's all I notice is the alcohol I'm starting to get some of the taste but I'm not really sure exactly how to describe what those tastes are all right so I uh, did a video and I asked uh, you guys what should I taste this week because every week I pick a new bourbon and I taste it and give my impressions, like I said, and then I'll drink this this other bourbon over the course of a week. And uh, basically, uh, I ask for comments, and overwhelmingly, from the avalanche of two comments that I got, it's four roses. So today we're going to test. We're going to going to try out four roses, and. Uh, this is a 80 proof bourbon and it is from the Four Roses Distillery, I believe. So they have their own distillery and uh, yeah, distilled and aged by Four Roses Distillery in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. So let's go and try it out. And a lot of people gave really good, really good uh, comments that I've talked to about Four Roses. So we're going to try it out. Mm. It, it smells a little sweeter, maybe. It's different. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little lower alcohol volume. I mean, alcohol proof than the Evan Williams. And I'm not sure how much that's affecting the taste. That's pretty good. Let's go and pour a little bit over ice. And see, it's pretty viscous. You can see like the little, where it's sticking to the glass, kind of, so it's got kind of legs. And I'm pretty new at this, so you gotta cut me a break. Maybe just a little bit sweeter. That's probably the only difference. And of course, my palate is, I'm a newbie, so my palate is in nowhere, nowhere um, to the point where I can discern flavors <clears throat> accurately. But uh, this is pretty good. I will say it's a pretty enjoyable and I think it's, it was about $22 and, and it's available anywhere. So if you would like to do this too, you know, come along and do this with me. Pick a bourbon. If you want to use four roses, if not, whatever bourbon you have, drink it. Think about what you're tasting. Think about, are you tasting different notes? Are you tasting different flavors? And then drink it over the course of a week 
and then let's come back next week and try it again and just see if your impressions of that bourbon have changed. Does the way that you taste that bourbon change? So come on along, do it with me and leave a comment. Uh, if you got a bourbon that you'd like me to uh, try for next week, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, and uh, just uh, in the meantime, enjoy.